up YouTube, it's Jock, Jock Calisthetics, and I post workout content, calisthetic content, but today I'm switching up the story and I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on how I beat this inflammatory bowel disease called ulcerative colitis, all right? I had ulcerative pancolitis from the age of nine to the age I was 17, all right? And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you a breakdown of what ulcerative colitis is, and then I'm gonna give you the story on how I beat it, all right? And this is just a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, I'm just sharing my experience to the point where I don't have to take any med medication or anything, you know, of that sort. I could just live like a normal person, all right? So let's go. All right, you guys, so to start out, ulcerative colitis is basically, it's a disease, inflammatory bowel disease, all right? There's a lot of, sorry for that, it's shaking. Oh, it's a lot of wind right now. But basically, um, it's basically an inflammatory bowel disease that affects your colon. There's a lot of uh, inflammatory bowel diseases. You know, you got Crohn's and you got some other stuff actually. I, but ulcerative colitis is very related to Crohn's, but Crohn's affects like uh, a different intestine. I'm pretty sure ulcerative colitis is a small intestine. Uh, col Crohn's disease might be the large intestine, but it affects the colon, all right? And it basically is inflammation in your colon. It's a lot of inflammation in your colon, in your gut, alright? So, the effects are, I'll state the effects uh, first, physically, alright? So physically, you could, uh, you could expect a lot of runs to the bathroom, a lot of diarrhea, a lot of, you also have blood, yes, it's nasty, it's graphic, blood in your, you know, poop, on your poop, you know, all that, just bleeding, uh, just pooping out straight, nothing but blood. I'm straight, stating my effects, these are, this is what I have experienced with it, alright? Because some people might, you know, they might have it to different extents, you know, and they might be experiencing different things, alright? But, you know, blood, a lot of diarrhea, um, every time you eat a meal, go straight to the bathroom. That's why it's very bad, because you're not really, uh, you're not really getting any nutrients from it since you're running to the bathroom so constantly and you're having diarrhea all the time so you'll you know you'll be sick just off of that and a lot of stomach pain a lot of stomach cramps all right a lot of stomach pain and cramps uh just fatigue based off of that you know tiredness and mental mentally it could definitely leave you like not feeling the best you know in a depressed state in a very depressed state uh looking at life differently maybe even uh looking at yourself differently because you you know you're sick that i'm sure that's how it is for most people that are like sick they have some type of illness that is bad you know but yeah you guys uh, you guys could look look these up as well i didn't look up the uh look up the effects of it like mentally so much but i do know like there's a correlation between it and a lot of like, and some uh, mental health conditions and stuff like that, right? But yeah, those are the effects of it, alright? Now I'm gonna get into the breakdown of how I beat it, alright? I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on like the storyline, and I'm gonna try to get to the point as quick as possible, alright? Alright, you guys, I'm back. So just to give you guys a quick uh, storyline, alright? So I had ulcerative colitis since I was nine. When I was nine years old, I used to live in New York, or right? I ended up moving to New Jersey. It was in part to find uh, better doctors for, you know, for my sickness that I had developed. It, it was in part, that's not the whole reason why, but, all right. I don't know if we anything, but, well, I don't know if we because that's the point of, like, sharing it. But, yeah, and then I ended up healing it when, or putting myself into remission as they call it when I'm when I was 17 years old so throughout this time I was very like sick I, you know I'd had all, all the symptoms you know I was just very sick I was able to do sports though uh, still but I was just like I still would feel really bad I still have like bad effects like and stuff like that I ended up missing a lot of time from school throughout all of my years going to school when I was sick because of this like from seventh grade till high school because once i started 
I started to come a little bit more during um, sophomore year in my, in high school, but we ended up having COVID, you know. So the school got, ended up getting canceled. So throughout all of my years, like of going to school, like I was uh, I was sick. Well, mo mostly all except for like senior, and yeah. So I missed a lot of school based off of this. I used to uh, do homeschooling. I used to take a different medication. Oh, I forgot the first exact medication I used to take. But I remember I used to take, after the first one, I took uh, prednisone, which is steroids. I would got incredibly, I got, you know, chubby face, like stuff like that. Like, you know, if you guys know, steroid effects, like it'll give you a chubby face, you'll gain weight easier. Uh, you may get acne, you know, stuff like that. I took those when I was very young. I was probably about like, 11, 12, 13, somewhere around their age. And then I ended up taking Remicade for a while or after that, cause steroids obviously didn't work. Like it worked for the time being, but once you get off of it, you know, you, it's right back to normal. Yeah, and you can't take steroids for a long time because if you take steroids for a long time, like the effects are bad for your body. Body, mind, all that stuff, you know? You can't take it for a while, all right? But, I took, I ended up taking Remicade after all of that, right? And Remicade was more subtle. That was the only medication I was really working, right? Until, until I got to the age of about like, I think when I was like 15, my uh, liver test started to do really like, really bad, you know? They, uh, yeah, they started to do really bad. I never really thought too much into it because I'm 15 years old. I wouldn't think like, you know, too deeply about it. I'm not like knowledgeable or anything. Or I don't have like, I wouldn't even look at reality like a certain other way, like stuff like that. Like it was just something that, this sickness was just something that was happening to me and it was just like normal to me. I've had it since I was young. I never really like thought like, okay, this could be causing that or even like, you know, had any superstitions things to go against it you know so probably about to the time i was uh okay so when quarantine first started i was 16 years old 16 while well, i was about to turn 16 all right and sorry guys my memory right now i'm a little bit you know yeah my memory is a little bit gone right now but um yeah when i was 16 man that's when uh, my doctors basically, my liver tests had kept on like, they weren't improving basically. My liver was starting to do uh, worse. So he was recommending to, you know, take some additional like medication and stuff like this, right? But prior to this before, right, that was like during quarantine. And prior to that, um, once quarantine had started, you know, we saw a lot of like different information, switching information really start to come out. And I was seeing a lot of different videos on YouTube like where um, like spiritual people and people talking about herbalism and switching their diet and stuff like that. So this is the part I'm getting to where, uh, you know, how I ended up healing it, right? So bear with me, all right, if this is taking long, sorry. You know, this is my first time even telling this on uh, camera and stuff like that, right? So. Once that I started getting engaged in that uh, backtrack, all right, backtrack. That's that's before my doctor even uh, started recommending to switch to add on different add on other medication and stuff, right? So I started to really just imp implement different things into my diet. I started to research on ulcerative colitis way more. You know, I did have pan pancolitis. Uh, ulcerative pancolitis is the worst form of ulcerative colitis, right? But I started research on it a lot. I saw that it's like a, it's based on inflammation and stuff like that in the gut, in the colon and stuff like that. So I started to research foods and stuff like that that could uh, that would help inflammation in your gut microbiome, right? And they would promote like uh, a healthy gut microbiome. And you know, through the research, researching all of that, I found like a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables. Uh, certain grains, you know, different herbs and stuff like that. So I started taking them. Or I started taking them, and I the first thing I did immediately was cut off junk food because junk food, they say it's really bad for your gut microbiome and stuff like that, right? And yeah, 
so I, I, you know I started to change my diet um started to cut out meat meat too and I was uh, pescatarian by this time all right pescatarian by this time and then once my doctor started to you know recommend that I add on uh, other medications and stuff like that you know I started to do research on uh, Remicade and its effects right and I was researching if it could uh, affect you, someone's liver and it said it may have a chance you know and me like being superstitious now and all of that stuff like once I just saw May I was like yeah this is definitely the reason why you know uh, this is definitely the reason cause and the cause of like uh, my liver being affected whether that's true or not I was just thinking that based off of you know watching videos you know criticizing uh, modern medicine and the health uh, industry and stuff like pharmaceuticals and stuff like that right? so once my doctor started recommending this there came to a point where I was just like no man I'm not doing this we ended up taking more tests right but I was still on medication at the time and my liver test still doing bad you know still doing bad um but and then I was just like yeah uh I'm not taking Remicade no more I'm not taking no medication at all no more I'm just gonna you know I'm gonna heal myself uh naturally and I cut off my medication you know I remember the exact day um once I, I yo I had got so like mad I didn't show it but I know like it probably showed in my uh, face and my expression that was mad though you know yeah. what's up and make a video oh we're being a video all right uh wait hold on all right uh when I make the next video all right, all right. I'm gonna make another video of this kid uh, that came by. I'm gonna make another video on calisthenics, all right? So, yeah, so, Remicade, right? So yeah, I just, I was like, no man, I'm not taking this no more. Uh, I'm done with it, all that stuff. And they said, okay, well, you know, try it out. And long story short, you know, stopped taking it. And I was never sick again. And then we ended up taking a liver test great my liver test ended up improving obviously all right and there were no symptoms from my colitis at all bro no symptoms from my colitis at all you know um yeah other things that i did start to implement though in my life were like stuff like meditating uh you know i started to exercise way more i always have uh, played sports but i was never so big on like exercising like outside of it so yeah started to implement stuff like stuff like that uh different water you know i started to look into a lot of different waters man uh osmosis water i forgot what it exactly it's called osmosis something like that but it's a different filtration of water i used to drink that a lot um at first now i really just drink spring water you know spring water bro but yeah it was just basically uh i changed my diet and stuff like that and this is what helped me, you know. I think it's very, uh, like, I don't know. I think that's, like, the key like, when it comes to, like, a lot of just uh, sicknesses and stuff, like diet and lifestyle, you know. I don't know how you guys, like, feel about this. Hopefully this isn't your recommended, you know, stuff like that. But, yeah, man. I know, like, I'm obviously not the first person to even talk about something like this, you know? You know, there's been people who be cancer, be stuff, like, be uh, other diseases, stuff like that, you know? I'm just giving guys my experience, you know? It's just some, another experience to maybe be doing that way, you know? But, yeah, that's basically it. If you guys have any other questions, uh, let me know. I'll make, I'm gonna make some more vid videos on it. I'll probably like uh, explain my sickness uh, that I had in, uh, in more depth, you know. Maybe I'll do that. And yeah, bro. I think this is like really the way like, you know. This is like, you know, just like a, a herbal, a holistic lifestyle. You know, that's really all it was, a transfer to holistic uh, lifestyle and stuff. 
you know. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention also, I was pescatarian, but I ended up becoming vegetarian after a while. Right now though, I'm not vegetarian. I, I actually, yo, I just started eating chicken again, like a week ago or like a few days ago. All right. But I don't think the problem is really uh, rooted in like eating meat and stuff like that. I think it's more rooted in junk food. Um, how you get response to stress as well. That could basically definitely be a big thing. Like meditating, I think that was a big part for me. It transformed me as a person. And like, I think cooking with oils, the seasonings, the uh, candy, the drinking soda, juice, all that stuff. That is what's probably most harmful. If you just keep it out of water, you could eat chicken. Eat chicken, don't go. I don't cook uh, with any seasoning unless it's like Italian seasoning that's herbal, all right? And when I even cook with fish, it's like not uh, no seasoning. You know, I think those are the biggest thing, like biggest things that you have to watch out for. The candy, junk food, candy, junk food, seasonings, uh, sugar, and the oils, the heated oils, all right? The heated oils, those are the worst things that you have to watch out for, all right? And I think these, like, these are just my personal opinion. It's not to say that this is the truth, you know? I'm not a doctor, obviously, but these, this is what I think and what uh, is the like, big, biggest cause to, like, bad health and stuff, you know? But, yeah, that's it, you guys. Hopefully this uh, video was informal to you guys. And, yeah, I'll see you guys. Have a nice day. Peace.